Welcome back to the channel. Now we are going to see regarding the concepts of functions in Python programming. Actually, a function is used whenever we want to represent a same statement for a multiple number of times. Instead of repeating the same statement for multiple number of times, we use the concept of functions. Means it prints the statement repeatedly how many times we require. Isn't it? Coming to the categories in the function, there are the two categories. First one is built-in functions and next is user-defined functions. Built-in functions are the functions which comes from uh, Python software itself. It is a uh, defaultly given uh, function such as id, type, input, eval, etc. Id means identification, type means type of the data like int, care, float. Input means whatever the we are giving as input, it, we will use this uh, command as input. EVAL means evaluate. These are the uh, built-in functions which will give me defaultly. And second one is user-defined function. So these are the functions that we define based on our requirement of the project or program, whatever we are writing. So the syntax of user defined function is for a defined def is a term which is used for defining a function def function name and parenthesis of the function whatever we want to write we want to write in the after writing parenthesis of the function we will write whatever the statements we want to write and finally we will return a value. So this is a syntax how the user defined function is determined. So here while defining the user defined function here def is a man compulsory term why because we should define a function with any name isn't it defining a function is a mandatory and as well as the return type of a function is a optional we may return the particular any value or we may not return any value so this is a program uh, how to print by user defined mechanism here def wish i am writing i am defining a function called wish in the wish function i am writing a print hello good morning so after that i am writing wish 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 means whatever the statement i am having in wish that is going to print three times why because i am calling wish for three times means whatever the print statement i have written in that particular function that print statement is going to print next this is a one type define wish of name i am writing wish of name print hello name good morning means here wish of some whatever the thing i have written if we define anywhere any names that names are going to print you can see wish of durga wish of ravi means what is the print statement you are going to get in a line number three is hello name in a name i have written durga hello durga good morning in fourth line hello name ravi hello ravi good morning they have done that by the help of a uh, function names we can uh, print the statements next this is a uh, one more program def define square of number whatever the number you are giving you are going to get square of that particular number next print the square of number is number into number means whatever the number you have defined that square is number into number so here square lt of 4 means here square of 4 and square of 5 whatever the output you are uh, expecting that output is the square of 4 is 16 that square of 5 is 25 that is the output you are going to get let us uh, try to run this program Okay, based on the, so while writing a program, what is the thing we have to take care is we have to take care regarding the indentations of the program here while defining a function after def, we have to give one uh, tab space for writing a next line. So that type of uh, small things we have to take care while printing the, writing a program. In a Python, indentation plays very major role. The main advantage of having indentation is it helps to uh, make a program in a proper structure manner and it after completing writing the program it will be very clear and very understandable for the user to understand so next written statement means whatever the functions we are writing here the written statement based upon the requirement of the program and it is an optional in the program also 
So this is the what next program DEF of define add of x comma y next return of x plus y next result is equal to add of 10 comma 20 I have written next print the sum is result next print the sum is add of 10 100 comma 200 so here in the output fourth line print the sum is result means in here in a result I have add, given 10 comma 20 so I am going to get 30 Next in the line number 5, the sum is add of 10, 100, 200. It means I am going to get 300. Why? Because the values are different. So based upon that, the output is going to vary as per our given input. Next DEF of F1 I have written. Next print of hello. Next F1 I have given. Next print of F1. Means in a DEF F1, in a F1 function I have written a hello statement. Next I am writing a print f1 whatever the f1 i have written i am printing that value so hello i have got again i have f1 i am printing in that particular and only again i am getting it hello next print f1 of in a it is asking what is the value i have again i have written in f1 in f1 i have it not written anything so i am going to get none so this is a program uh, use it for uh, evaluating given input is odd number or even number so how to identify actually it is an odd number or even number if it is an odd number it will be not divided by 2 and if it is even number it is divided by 2 and that is on the uh, remainder will be 0 in the same manner we can use that same logic def even or odd num if num divided by 2 double equal to 0 i am going to get print num even number else print num odd number even or odd of 10 means i am giving input of 10 so i am get i am going to get it is an even number um if i am giving input as 15 i am going to get it is an odd number next this is a program which is going to define factorial of a given number means one factorial two factorial like that so if we have fact of num i have written factor next result is equal to one F means first i am taking number one Next, while num greater than or equal to 1, means whatever the input you are giving, it should be greater than 1. Next, result is equal to result into num, means whatever the result you are getting, that result will be added to the number whatever you are giving, means 1 into 4, means if you are giving 4, 1 into 1, 2, 1 into 2, 1 into 3, 1 into 4, like that. Num is equal to num minus 1, return is equal to result, whatever the statement you are going to get, that value is going to return. So next for i in range 1 comma 5 means the meaning what are the values are going to print 1, 2, 3, 4. Next print the factorial of i is fact of i. So the factorial of i is 1. i means 1. The factorial of 2 is 4. The factorial of 2 is 2. The factorial of 3 is 6. The factorial of 4 is 24. I am going to get up to 4 only. Why? Because here I have given range up to 1 to 4. Next now let us. Uh, so whatever the values we are uh, given uh, in our the written values uh, it is like in in another languages like c c plus plus java the written values are almost only one value we are going to return but in a python programming we can return how many number of values we want see here this is a program here i am defining sum of a comma b sum is equal to a plus b sum is equal to a minus b i am doing return is equal to sum and sub two values i am going to return here x comma y is equal to sum underscore sub of 100 comma 50 print the sum is x print the subtraction is y means whatever the numbers i am giving 100 comma 50 i am going to get output as 100 plus 50 and 100 minus 50 means 150 and 50 next define calc of a plus b means calculate of a comma b sum is equal to a plus b sub is equal to a minus b mul is equal to a into b div is equal to a by b means by doing that by giving a and b values i am going to get sum of the a and b subtraction multiplication and division of a and b so here values are 100 and 50 so like this i am going to get addition subtraction multiplication and as well as division next one is arguments how the arguments will be given and how the categories of the arguments are defined first one is positional arguments next one is keyword arguments next default arguments next variable length arguments next positional arguments means these are the arguments which are used to give the correct position of the inputs wherever we have defined means you can see an example here 
df of sub of a comma b means i am doing a subtraction operation of a and b values next print a minus b i am printing a values of a minus b sub of 100 comma 2 200 means 100 minus 200 sub of 200 comma 100 means 2 200 minus 100 means it is performing subtraction operation of a and b values mean here in a input whatever the first number is there that is a, a value and whatever the second number is there it is a b value next keyword arguments keyword arguments means based upon our keyword we will define some argument that instead of that in a, wherever that keyword is defined in that particular keyword whatever the argument we have given that argument will be printed you can see here DVF define wish of name comma message okay here wherever the name is defined that particular value will be printed message is given that particular message will be printed okay Ni print hello name comma message wish is equal to name is equal to the message is equal to good morning so the output will be hello name comma message means hello durga good morning next wish is equal to message good morning comma durga next hello name is hello name means durga message means good morning here name and message you may write name there is no rule that you have to write name at a first position and message at a second position you can write anywhere you want in uh, braces but uh, you have to define clearly what is a name attribute and what is a message attribute based on that you are going to get result next default arguments means if you want to print something if that particular statement is not found in our code instead of that what the default statement you want to print that in such situations we have using default arguments okay define wish of name is equal to guest print hello name good morning we in a wish i have defined any name means i am going to get that name if i did not give any name means i am going to get default name whatever i have given okay print hello name durga hello durga good morning next Wish, in a wish I have not given anything. So if I not given anything, default it is going to take name as guest. Hello guest, good morning. So this is a advantage of default argument. Next, variable length arguments. Variable length arguments are the arguments which are used to define how variable length, how, how much length of the variables we are giving as an input and all these things. Okay, df sum of star n, here I am defining sum, default total is equal to 0 for n1 in n, means whatever the value is defining in n1, that value should be there in n, next total is equal to total plus n1, print the sum is total, next sum, next sum of 10, sum of 10 comma 20, means whatever the values you are defining based on that I am going to get sum of those inputs. Means in 8th line I am going to get 10 only, in the 9th line I am going to get 30, in the 10th line I am going to get 100. Means how many values you are giving based on that you are going to get result of those values. So here this is a program define f1 of n1 comma star s print n1 means whatever the n1 you are writing that I am going to get for s1 in s means whatever the values are there in s that statement should be also present in s1 print s1 means whatever the values are present in s1 that values will be printed okay here f1 is equal to 10 means i am going to get 10 as output next f1 is equal to 10 20 30 40 means i am going to get 10 20 30 40 one after the other next f1 is equal to 10 a 30 b means 10 a 30 b everything is going to get uh, one by one in a serial manner so this is a program defined from f1 of star s comma n1 means for s1 in s means whatever the statement is present in s1 the statement should present in s also next print of s1 means i want to print that particular statement print of n1 means whatever the statement is there in s1 that statement should also present in n1 also f1 of a comma b and n1 is equal to 10 i am right finding a value b value and n1 is equal to 10 means I am going to get a value b value as it is and I am going to get uh, n1 as 10. Why? Because I have defined n1 value as 10. Here, if you observe this program, df display of k racks I have written. For k comma v in k racks dot items, means whatever the items I have defined in k and v values, print k is equal to v 
next display is equal to n1 is equal to 10 n2 is equal to 20 and n3 is equal to 30 i am defining next display of rn role rn is equal to 100 role number name is equal to durga marks is equal to 70 subject is equal to java so whatever the values i have defined in a display function that are complete values are going to print a sequential sequential manner one after the other So, how the functions are defined means this is a library. The library consists of all the set of functions. Here, each and every functions are defined in a form of a modules. Means a group of lines with some names are called functions. A group of functions which are saved in a file is called as a module. And a group of module is nothing but a, a library. Means combination of group of modules are termed as a library. Here coming to the type of variables, we are having a local variable and a global variable. Means local, okay, global variables means whatever the particular value you have defined in a program, you can use that particular value throughout the entire program. Local variable means you can use that particular variable, whatever we have defined in that particular set itself. We cannot use outside of that function. We can see now with an example. Here a is equal to 10. I have defined a is equal to 10. It is a global variable. Why? Because it is not linked with any part of the program. df of f1. I have written a function of f1. Next to print a. Whatever the value you have defined, that value is going to print. And 10 is going to print. Next I am defining another function with name f2. Print is print of a. I am going to get a value. Whatever we have defined, a is 10. So f here next time returning f1 f2 so i am going to get 10 as a output for f1 i am going to get 10 f2 i am going to get 10 how i am going to get 10 means for f1 f2 in a function f1 i am uh, defining a value in function f2 i am defining a value so i am going to get 10 as a output next local variables means in each and every function, we have to define uh, explicitly to print any variable. If we did not define any variable, it will not print. Okay, like this, in a form of a global variable, here we have defined only once. But in this situation, it, it is not possible to define only once. In each and every function, you have to define explicitly. Okay, df of f1, a is equal to 10, print a. Means I am going to get 10. Next, df of f2, print a means I am not going to get uh, 10. Why? Because the in this is a local, in this particular function you have defined, inside the function you have defined a value. In a previous example, you have defined outside of the function. Here the case is quite different. Here in f2, I am not going to get any output. Why? Because uh, here I have not given a, any a value. This is an invalid way of defining. So next... Here a is equal to 10 I have written, df f1 I am defining, next a is equal to 777 I have written, next print a. So here, this a is equal to 10 is a global variable, you can use anywhere, in a f1 you can use or f2 you can use. Next in f1 I have written, a is equal to 777, print a means I am going to get definitely 777 only, in f1. In f2 I have not given any name. If I want, if I written print a means what, which a I am going to get, I am going to get a is equal to 10. Why? Because a is equal to 10 is a global variable. I can, uh, if there is a no, any a value, I am going to get that value as a output. Next, this is a one more example. a is equal to 10. This is a global variable. df of f1, I am defining f1 value. Next, global of a. Next, a is equal to 7, print a. I am going to get 777 as output. Next, df of f2 and print a I am writing. So, here after writing a f2, I am printing a f1 and f2 values. So, I am going to get a 777 and 777 for f1 and f2. Next, df of f1, a is equal to 10, print a. I am going to get output. Next, df of f2, print a. Here, to print the particular values to f1, f2 I have written. Here I am not going to get a proper output. Output Why? Because I have not defined a. I have written print a but I have not defined a. So I am not going to get any output. Here I am defining f1 function global a. a is equal to 10 print a I have written. Again I am defining f2 function. I am writing print a. 
So F1, F2 means I am going to here I have written A value as a global A. Global means it is uh, accessible for entire uh, program. So I am going to get 10 and 10 as a output. So here I have written a is equal 10, next df of f1 I am defining, next a is equal 777, it is a local value, print a, I am going to get 777. Next print global of a, means what is the global value 10 here, so I am going to get 10 value. So these are the various uh, mechanisms in defining local values and global values for printing a numbers. Next is a recursive function, a recursive function that can be defined as a value which is called by itself is a recursive function. Next here you can see factorial of the 3, factorial of the 3 defined by a 3 into 2 into 1, isn't it? We, so we are going to get factorial of that particular value. In a programming manner we can write a factorial of n, we can be defined as n into n minus 1, n into factorial of n minus 1, like that. So this is a program which is defining a factorial program, define be a factorial of n, means n can be defined as whatever the value you are giving as an input. Next, if n is equal to is equal 0, default n is 0, result is equal to 1. If you give an input as 0, you are going to get output as 1, means factorial of 0 is 1. Else, if you give an input as 5, 7, anything, what happens here, the process will be happen, result is equal to n into factorial of n minus 1. Means 5 into factorial of 5 minus 1. 4, 4, 4, 5 minus 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, like that, I am going to get a factorial of that particular number. Next anonymous functions, which some of the functions such as which can be used without any proper name or any function type like that numbers can be defined as anonymous functions. We can call the particular function anonymous functions as a lambda functions also. So we use that anonymous functions for only one time use only. We can use that here you can do anonymous function can be written as l n into n like that. So you can see here a small program s is equal to lambda of n is equal to n into n print the square of 4 is 4 the square of 5 is s of 5 I have written. Here I have, I have written s means in a s I have written main logic lambda of n into n means by 4 square and 5 square I am going to get output. So this is the next program I am going to get result of a comma b and a plus b addition of the values. I have given a b values as 10 comma 20. I am going to get 10 comma 20 comma 30. I am going to get output as like that. Here you can see the sum of 100 comma 200 is means 200 plus 100 300 that is one output I am going to get. So next this is a program we is used to uh, identify which of the numbers are bigger in our given input. S is equal to lambda of a comma b, column a if a greater than else b, means if a value is bigger, a value is going to print, b value is bigger, b value is going to print. Next filter function is used to filter out what is our requirement from our, the complete input, isn't it? Next def is even of x, if x by 2 means whatever the value you are giving. If x by 2 is equal to 0, means whatever the input you have given, if that input is divided by 2 and the remainder gets 0, you are going to get result as true or else you are going to get result as false. You can see I have defined here L is equal to 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and L1 is equal to, I am creating a new list with name L1 is equal to list of. Here I am using a filter command. What I am doing inside a filter fun command is filter of is even, comma L means if in the complete input, take out the even numbers only. I am going to get only even numbers. Means here I am using a filter command. So like that you can uh, filter with the only odd numbers also. You can uh, filter out the odd numbers in our uh, given input. So next map function is used to define whatever the in input you have given. It is used to generate a new set of input for the values whatever we are giving. Here map of function comma sequence means whatever the function you are giving it is going to do mapping function. Here L is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I have defined. The E of double of x means whatever the input I am giving in that input uh, you double all the values in my given input like that means I am going to get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 like that.
So here I have given input as L is equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here L1 is equal to, I am creating a new list, L1 is equal to L into L. Means it is, uh, here we are doing a double of the given number. Means 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. Reduce function, means reduce function helps to reduce the given input size. So that to, uh, to define or to display the whatever the important values you want to print, you are going to display very easily. So here you can see from functions import star means what are the functions you are defining you, you are uh, defining co complete functions l is equal to 10 20 30 40 50 result is equal to reduce of lambda com x comma y comma x plus y comma l means in our result you are going to get the particular values print of result means whatever the input you are going to get you are going to print the result of our uh, complete input next year i am defining f1 def f1 print hello okay i am going to write in the function f1 i am going to write hello Next, print f1, print id of f1. I am going to get function id and value as, as well as a hello function. Function aliasing here, function aliasing means uh, whatever the function we are giving, aliasing means other names for the function. Here you can see, for whatever the function we, can, we are giving, we are, we are going to give another name for the function if it is not available. You can see here define wish of name print good morning comma name greeting is equal to wish print id of wish okay print id of greeting okay greeting of durga wish is equal to durga means good morning name is durga good morning durga i am going to get next wish of durga good morning durga here in a place of greeting in a place of wish, whatever I have written, I am going to get messages, good morning Durga. If you use greeting of, greeting is equal to Durga, wish is equal to Durga, namaste is equal to Durga, whatever that you have given, in that particular place, whatever the value you have de defined, I am going to get uh, that name as a greeting, good morning. Here define wish is equal to name, print good morning comma name, greeting is equal to wish, greeting is equal to Durga, wish is equal to Durga means DEL of wish means after wishing that particular uh, greeting I am going to get delete next greeting of comma Pavan means good morning Pavan I am going to get you can see here good morning Pavan nested functions can be defined as a defining one function inside the another function is called as a nested functions so here you can see how the nested functions are defined define outer print outer function is started define inner inner function executed print outer function called inner function means in a function we are going to write one function inside of one function i am going to write another function now let us see how the function is created here you can see define wish of name print hello name comma good morning here whatever the names you are giving that names I am going to get as a good morning. DEF decor of function. I am creating a function with DEC bar. DEF winner of name. If name is equal to sunny. If I give a name as sunny. Hello sunny. Bad morning I am going to get. Else function of name. Written inner of DEC bar. Here I have created different function. No? So here I am writing a function. How what to print in that particular function. Define wish of name. Print hello name good morning. Wish of Durga, hello Durga, good morning, hello Ravi, good morning, hello Sunny. If I get a name called Sunny, I am going to get messages, hello Sunny, bad morning. So here DEF decor of function, here DEF winner of name, if name is equal Sunny, means whatever the names you are printing, I am going to get good morning. But if I get a name called Sunny, I am going to get bad morning. So this is a concept of generator. Generator is a concept which is used to generate a set of sequence of values. So here I am defining my gen. My gen means I am defining a one value with a my gen. Yield of A, yield B, yield C I have defined. J 
g is equal to my gen i have written print type of g whatever the type of input i am giving i am going to get print next to g next to g means whatever the values i am going to get i am going to get means what is the next to g means i am going to get what are the generations i have defined a b c i am going to get a b c as a output next def countdown of num print start countdown while num is greater than 0 if our input is greater than 0 yield of num means you are going to check that particular number and count of n num minus 1 if i give 5 i am going to get 5 4 3 like that i am going to get in a uh, decreasing manner up to 1 why because i have given a count value maximum of greater than 0 means it should be at least 1 so i am going to get uh, 5 4 3 2 1 this is a program defining to generate a first n numbers First of all, I am defining a number. I am giving a default number as 1. If n is greater than number, means whatever the number I have given, if that particular number should, n should be greater than or equal to that particular number, yield of n, n is equal to n plus 1. So, the values which are there in a n, here I have given a value as 5. For x in values, print x. It is going to perform that operation. Here I have defined def of f of I have given a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1 I have written means a is defined to 0 b is defined to 1 while true while condition is true I am going to get a a I am going to get addition operation while condition is false I am going to get break the particular value so here I have given one program here import random import time names is equal sunny bunny chinny winny subjects is equal python java blockchain Define people list names num comma people means define a list of people whatever the names I have given next result next for i in range num comma people whatever the names I have taken you take the each and every name person id comma i means for each and every individual person id name subject result written result whatever the result you have written written that particular result next define people this is for another person like that you are going to define for each and every one Next, we are going to print uh, the result for the each and every one or how many numbers you have defined. So this is what the uh, concept of functions and how the different functions are defined, how the different uh, calling function, called function uh, and how the values are defined inside the function, how the outside of the function is defined, how the global values are defined, how the local values are defined and all these things. Thank you.